After this incredible year, I've learned one important rule. Preparation is everything. To safely walk on lava, get close to storms, or explore faraway worlds, you've got to do your homework. But nothing, nothing could prepare me for my next crazy, heart-pounding, breathtaking adventure. Michelle, will you marry me? I'm passionate about two things in my life, my love of adventure and my girlfriend, Michelle. She's quite something, almost as adventurous as me and quite fearless. I've always wanted to find a way to take her along on one of my trips, and I think I've found it. I am Red Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. 10 on tour one, eight on tour two. After some warm-up conversation, I finally work up the courage. And uh, basically, I just wanted you to know that uh, I am, I can't really picture the rest of my life without you there with me. You're not. Michelle, will you marry me? Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's beautiful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's not often you can get me speechless. <laughs> wow. But there's more. Okay. Um, we're going on all these adventures and uh, I would like to take you along on one of them. And uh, how do you feel about the idea of having a ceremony in a beautiful tropical South Pacific island with uh, the local people on top of a, uh, on, on the rim of a volcano? I love it. it. That's great. That couldn't be any more romantic. Well. Well, that's it. I'm getting married. Time for all the usual preparations. I get a tux, Michelle gets a dress, and a permanent reminder of this special occasion. Good, I'm here for my tuxedo. On the crater's edge of an exploding volcano. <laughs> Say that again. They're like hiking shoes, right? These are good for walking on volcanic rock. Do you have any idea where the welding gloves are? My only question is, do you have a, a suit jacket that comes in asbestos? Well, let me just tell you about our damage waiver. Uh -oh. Anything the size of a quarter <laughs> yeah. won't be responsible for. We're headed for Vanuatu, a group of islands in the remote South Pacific, home of the volatile Yasser volcano. It's an incredibly long trip via Australia and New Zealand. After four grueling plane rides, Michelle and I arrive in Port Vila, the capital. Despite what the sign says, friendly Vanuatu does have a dark and mysterious side. Once home to cannibal tribes, and still home to the John Frum cargo cult that worships a mythical World War II soldier believed to be their messiah, set to return any day with riches for all. After we settle into our island paradise, 
Michelle and I take off to explore the town, and most importantly, take advantage of the spectacular diving found in this part of the world. Welcome to Vanuatu. Hi, thank you. This is Michelle's first open water dive, and of course, she takes to it like a pro. What a fantastic array of sights and species. Then it's off to do some rappelling, or rap jumping as the Aussies call it, down gorgeous 50 meter waterfalls. After all, Vanuatu is the home of the insane rite of passage known as land diving. What a rush. Next, we visit a jungle village where, until only 50 years ago, cannibalism was still practiced. The locals show us how foreigners were greeted back then. Where did those guys come from? We are welcome guests. They even invite us for lunch. You think you've been to some wild weddings? You ain't seen nothing yet. I've traveled thousands of miles with my fiance Michelle to the remote Vanuatu Islands to get married on the edge of a lava-spitting volcano. But first, I'm off to Yasser to do some reconnaissance on my own. I'm leaving Iririki and heading to Tana Island tomorrow, and it's a pretty primitive island. There's no paved roads in the whole place, and uh, the only electricity there is at a few of the hotels, and that's it. And it's a rough track from the main city of Lenakel all the way over to Yasser Volcano. And that's where I'm headed. That's where the big wedding's gonna be. I can't wait till we get our first look at the volcano. Nice big ash eruption. This volcano's been erupting for 800 years. I'm so close I can actually start to hear the eruption. Real nice. Big ash cloud. Yasser Volcano. One of the most active volcanoes in the world. Every few minutes I'm getting big explosions out of the volcano here. Large ash eruptions. Large chunks of lava. These lava bombs come flying out of the crater. I'm not sure how far. We're going to get hit by one though. There are a million details to attend to when doing extreme exploration. Miss one, and it could cost you your life. Right now, the plan is to rappel down into the crater of the volcano and uh, still make it out for my wedding day. Oh, big bombs, big bombs. I gotta be real careful, this is uh, a bit treacherous. A few extra precautions before I go down. As long as I'm squeezing it, I can go down. As soon as I let go, I'm attached to it, and pull me up on the rope. The danger of this volcano is its unpredictable nature. 
It never erupts the same way twice, so my survival depends on watching where the lava bombs fall. So far, so good. I'm about 50 meters inside the volcano now. The lava's really starting to glow bright orange. It's starting to get dark. Whoa. Big explosions behind me. Huge. Gotta keep going. Turning your back on the crater is terrifying. It's hurling 2,000 degree chunks of lava, sometimes as big as refrigerators. Okay, I'm 60 meters down into the volcano, and this is as far as I can go safely because I'm at the end of my rope. As a safety precaution, I don't want to go any further. The rocks around me are smoking, and uh, I'm totally surrounded by relatively fresh lava bombs. This is crazy. <coughs> okay, I'm getting blasted with sulfur dioxide now. I'm gonna put my mask on. Oh, big eruption. Noisy eruption. This is not a place that's conducive to life for very long. I can't stay here long. It's getting too dangerous. Just as I decide to start my ascent, Huge bomb. Against my crew's insistence, I go after it. I'm descending into the Yasser Volcano in the South Pacific, and it's just spit out a huge burst of lava bombs right in front of me. They plead with me to turn back, but this is a rare chance to get a red-hot sample of molten lava. But if I don't get the fresh bomb and get out of the active lava field fast, and then another massive eruption. I didn't realize until I reviewed the footage later just how close the lava was to hitting me. Hot. Brand new bomb from Yasser. I saw where it hit. Ran out to get it. Uh. Woo! Whoa. Look at that. Still glowing. I feel the heat coming off of this. All right, here I come. I think I've pushed my luck enough today. Totally drained from the heat and the climb, I crawl out of the volcano. Hot. All right, enough messing around. It's time to get married. How do I explain to people my attraction to things as volatile and dangerous as an active volcano? This is how. The 
night before the wedding, the John Frum group invites us to join their ritual of singing until sunrise. Complete with a band and an all-you-can-drink kava bar. Did someone say, Kava? Well, it's the night before my wedding, and I figured I'd celebrate Vanuatu style with some kava. It's basically a ground up root that looks like muddy water, kind of smells like muddy water, and kind of tastes like muddy water, but it makes your lips numb and your tongue numb. It's a local drug of choice, it's a hallucinogen. It makes your, uh, try that again. And any time. <laughs> it's basically the local hallucinogen. It's the drug of choice in the South Pacific here, in, particularly in Vanuatu. Let me try that again. And I can feel it going to my head. Local drug of choice. It's a hallucinogen. Oh. It may taste like dirt, but hey, it does paralyze your face. So that anything he can do, I can do better. <laughs> Here goes. Don't stop. Want some more? Cup of kava. Oh man, that stuff is nasty. <laughs> So this is what the 60s were like. Last night was spent sampling the hallucinogenic brew called kava. Kava should not be taken internally. Mm. So, today's the big day. I, uh getting dressed up. Got the wedding zit, see, right there. Another little buddy for him here. Figures. You get the flowers? And I have no idea if I've got everything. So we're waiting for the bride. And it's so hot, my cufflinks are melting. Today's her day, and she gets to be late. and I'm not allowed to complain. That's where we're going, right up top. That's where we're getting married, right at the top of the Yasser. And it's real active today. We use the hotel's private limo to get to the volcano. I feel like James Bond. We stop for a once in a lifetime photo op. Tannies pitch in to help us pull off this unusual feat, including Pastor Isaac, who dons traditional garb to perform the service. It's awesome! <laughs> yeah, she says that now, but wait till the lava bombs start falling within 10 feet of her. Shut up! What stuff? Where's all my ushers to do this for me? Where's my best man? Where's the limo? <laughs> Coming all the way from Vanuatu to, uh, to get married. So I'd just like to welcome you and say thank you for coming this far. You have to make a vow in the presence of the Almighty God that you promise to take this woman as your wife. I promise to take this woman 
to care and to support her. To care and to support her in good times and in bad times. I'm so happy of the many years that we've had, and I look forward to many, many more sharing our lives together. You may now slip the ring into the bride's finger. During the ceremony, the volcano gave us some spectacular eruptions. You have been my supporter, my wall, my rock. And if we're not careful, <laughs> we might melt into one. I have this great honor to pronounce you husband and wife. And you may now kiss your bride. Let's ask the band to give a little song to finish off this ceremony. This is such an amazing moment. Although everyone is enjoying themselves, we're all aware of the enormous danger that lurks behind us. We are, after all, signing our registry on a lava bomb. Hey! <laughs> The volcano is just going again.